What's going on everybody of YouTube? It's your boy Ken Andrew Daily and recently I finally got over my Joanne Itis. They finally, I think, updated their selection or I just haven't been there for a long time. So I finally got over it. I picked up a whole bunch of fabrics and I'm just gonna do a little storytelling slash why I picked up these fabrics slash pickups video. I think that's what a pickup video is. So the first piece of fabric that I picked up was this Aztec print. I'm going to be making a button up based zip up t-shirt. It's going to be a button up that looks like a button up, but instead of buttons, it's just a zipper. It's going to look crazy though. I I'm going to guarantee you. But anyways, I'm going to be using this type of fabric. It's a cotton polyester blend. It's nice and stiff. There's no stretch to it. So that's why it's going to be like for a button up because you don't want a button up to stretch because then, I don't know, people just don't make it out of that material. Now a lot of people get a question, yo, can I do this? Why are you picking up print? It's kind of weird. You're always rocking the black, white, gray. Now I don't want people to think I'm on the dark side or anything. So I want to just pick up fabrics outside of the black, white, gray colorway and you know, try something new. I believe this is like $10 a yard, but with coupons and stuff like that, it's probably going to bring it down to like $5 a yard or $7 a yard, pretty worth. So Aztec print, I got this in the front section of Joann's. So if you're wondering, or if all Joann's are set up like this, it's in the front section with all the prints. Or if you really can't find it, you gotta, you gotta legit take a screenshot. I'll, I'll set this up real quick for you. you screenshot that, uh, show it to Joann's worker, and hopefully they can find it. There you go. So the second piece of fabric that I picked up was this rose print. I'm going to be making a short sleeve button up tutorial for with this fabric. I'm probably not going to do the whole like button up with this print. I'm going to probably switch it up or contrast it with some black fabric. I think that'll look really nice. But yeah, and again, this is a polyester cotton fabric and it's 10 bucks and then, you know, cheaper with coupons. I also found this in the same section as the Aztec print, so there you go. Show this real quick to the Joann's hook and they'll hook you up, I'm pretty sure. They they always hook me up every single time. They'll be like, hey, what you looking for? And I'm just kind of like, uh, something dope. And they're like, ah, I know where that is. And they take me to some section. But yeah, rose print, really nice. I like it. There we go. The next pieces of fabrics are jersey knits. They're t-shirt material. I'm going to be making a whole bunch of t-shirt tutorials after the button up tutorials. So here is the first jersey knit fabric that I picked up. It's like a navy blue. I think it's only a one way stretch. A one way stretch means it only stretches one way. I mean, that's how specific it is. Don't get confused. So it stretches this way and doesn't really stretch the other way. So it's a one way stretch. I'm going to be making a curved hem extended tee or fishtail tee. I don't know, I really, I'm just throwing out ideas for you guys, but jersey knits in a blue or navy blue color. I think it's gonna look really crazy when I put out this tutorial. But yeah, I got two yards of this. I think it was about six bucks a yard and then with coupons, obviously cheaper. So next piece of fabric, I really didn't pick out myself. I was actually with my girlfriend. She told me to get this Burgundy or oh, wine burgundy, uh, that's how I remember the name. Wine burgundy color. It's a lighter material than the other one. I think this is a two way stretch. When it's a two way stretch, it's usually really, really lightweight. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm even making with this yet, but it's gonna be something pretty dope. If you're trying to find the jersey knit section, you just you just gotta like, you gotta post up real quick, wait for a Joanne's burger to come by and be like, Where their jersey knit at though. <laughs> what should I do with this guys? I really am questioning what I should do with this material, especially this color. Let me know in the comment section below. But there you go, wine burgundy jersey knit. So the last piece of fabric that I picked up was this gray jersey knit. Now you guys are like, oh Kennedy Daily, you messed up. You got gray. But this jersey knit is it just it just feels amazing. I don't even know what material type of material it is. This Noah's Jersey Knit, it's a one-way stretch, I believe. Let me check real quick. Uh, yeah, it's a one-way stretch, but it's a really nice t-shirt material. I think I'm gonna be doing the, I said fishtail earlier, 
I definitely gonna be doing an extended tee or elongated tee or or make a layered tee where it's kind of like a t-shirt and then under the first layer or it's just gonna be at your waist and then there's gonna be another layer under that it's gonna look cool I got designs coming up don't worry guys I just got a message from my GF oh hello good morning but anyways I got the gray material pretty nice so that's everything I picked up from Joanne pretty low-key but anyways let me know what you guys' favorite piece of fabric was, or if you guys have a better suggestion or some ideas to use with some of the fabrics you saw, let me know. I'm open to you guys' suggestion. I might even just use that suggestion instead of the, the weird ideas I come up with. But anyways, thanks for watching. It's your boy, Ken and Daily. I hope to see you guys soon, and peace.